guys welcome back to our mechanics thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel if you guys have a jeep cherokee guys jeep compass or jeep renegade with a 2.4 multi-air engine guys and you need to replace uh, you need to replace upstream oxygen sensor this is known as the oxygen sensor that is above the catalytic converter before the catalytic converter it is super important sensor guys it tells it tells the uh, computer how much uh, how much air how much fuel all that to adjust uh, to adjust it if it needs to so the car can perform the best gets the best fuel mileage and uh, uh, decrease guys emissions as well now that sensor guys it's not very complicated to replace and if you need to buy one we'll have the link in the description of the video below for your convenience check it out uh, will guys okay you don't have to remove the engine out of the car we have it out because we have more than 100 videos on this engine alone guys We'll show you how to fix pretty much anything. In addition, we'll have more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop. Our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Let us show you what you need to do to replace the upstream oxygen sensor. So, facing guys the engine now. Okay, this is the engine that is the same engine as uh, Jeep Cherokee, Jeep Compass, Jeep Renegade, Multi-Air 2.4. It's actually used in multiple Dodge, uh, uh, Jeep, Fiat and Chrysler vehicles as well. Facing the engine guys, if the engine is in the vehicle, okay, that sensor right here, this is known as upstream oxygen sensor, okay, this guy right here, this is it, you can see this is your uh, cover, engine cover, exhaust, uh, this is your alternator, AC compressor, the one on the right is the sensor. First we need to disconnect the wiring harness guys, how we do that, okay, you're going to follow the wire and that wire goes, okay, you can see you have two of them this is downstream sensor this is upstream we have the link for both of them guys in the description of the video below and see where we get ours from this is guys the wiring harness you have one thing that you press on the back side right here you need to squish in and when you do that guys okay let me see on which side it is exactly right there you're going to pull it out this thing stays there okay right here there is one tooth press it down and disconnect it now there is a special socket guys that we use for removing oxygen sensor otherwise it's practically impossible to remove it and if you damage it you will not be able to remove it we will have the link guys in the description of the video below and you can see where we purchase it from really good socket guys amazing it goes through the wire okay check it out how it's side cut so it fits through the wire after that you get your extension or a ratchet and just get it loose Okay, if you need to buy one, we'll have the links, guys, in the description of the video below. Uh, it's recommended to put, uh, put, to put anti-seize on the new thread when you apply the new one. Most of the times, when you purchase original sensor, guys, what will happen, actually, they will actually be uh, pre-treated with the anti-seize compound. So, all you have to do is just install it, get it tight with the socket push the wire in and you're ready to go. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.